So this is Riley. Riley's a seven-year-old malnutrited border collie cross Kelpie that presented a South Wales emergency in critical care five days ago as a referral from one of our local emergency centres for a heme abdomen secondary to a splenic mass. Um, Riley received a packed red blood cell transfusion at the local emergency centre before being referred to us. On presentation, the local emergency centre he had a pH of 6.9. Uh, they did a great job stabilising him prior to referral. So Riley had a CT on presentation at South Paws. Uh, his CT uh, revealed that he had uh, consolidation of his right middle lung lobe along with a large splenic mass. Uh, he progressed to surgery and had a splenectomy. Uh, and while in surgery, he required another packed red blood cell transfusion. Uh, on recovery, uh, Riley continued to have a persistent hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis um, that was not responsive to conventional therapy. Um, so he required a sodium bicarb CRI um, that was administered over a four hour period yesterday. Since then, he's had resolution of his hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis. Um, slowly but surely, little Riley is improving. Uh, he had his first little bit of chicken this morning, so we're hoping that he'll be able to go home in the next few days. Uh, in terms of the medications he's on at the moment, he's on a metoclopramide and erythromycin CRI due to functional ileus. He's on amoxiclav IV Q6 along with enrofloxacin IV Q24 for his aspiration pneumonia. Um, he's no longer clinical for his aspiration pneumonia. He was able to be weaned off uh, supplemental oxygen around 48 hours ago. Um, apart from that, uh, Riley's just on um, standard supportive care uh, Q6 blood gas analysis um, by a radiometer just to manage his electrolyte abnormalities and um, pH balance. Uh, he's also uh, has a nasogastric tube, as you can see, that was placed uh, 72 hours ago and he's tolerating 100% RER at the moment. Um, but like I said, he had his first little bit of chicken this morning. He's quickly becoming a favorite of the staff at South Paws. Um, we can't wait for him to go home in the next few days. We'll keep you in the loop as to how Riley progresses.